We're here at Tottington Manor, which was the regional headquarters for the auxiliary units in Sussex during the Second World War. Whilst there's been many changes to the manor, there is one original feature that's still in place from the war, and that's the underground hideout. Let's go and have a look. These are the steps that lead down to the cellar of the manor, and that then leads on to where the hideout is positioned. So we've made our way through the cellar, and now we've come to the entrance to the actual underground part here. And what you can see is there's been a bit of recent redesigning, but this is part of the original sliding hatch that would have slid underneath the wall behind here. So there was a brick here that you would take out and then slide the whole assembly under to reveal this space here. With the sliding hatch out of the way that reveals a three foot drop that then leads into these steps which takes you through to a passage that then leads down into the main chamber of the hideout. This short narrow passage leads down these steps and then opens right out into the main chamber. So this main chamber would have included bunk beds along the walls, you'd have had storage of food and ammunition and any other stocks that they wanted to house in here. We've got the explosive store here. Okay, so this small area was the explosive store and there was also an Elson toilet there as well. And we've got an air vent in the corner. We've still got some of the original shelving in place here that's uh, all the wood from anyway. There's still some fixing points on the wall. We've also got the light switch here because they had an electrical supply coming down from the manor above that allowed them to have lighting down in this area. So leading off the main chamber, this passage leads down through into the cooking area and finally to a dead end which is actually right beside the emergency exit tunnel. We can see evidence of the electrical cable that was in here to power the lighting system. There's also some air vents as we go round that uh, lead up to the surface just to provide fresh air. At the end of the passage, what we've got here is the cooking area. This would have been two primer stoves. Unfortunately, the shelf has gone now, but you can see where the support would have gone through. And they've utilized the space here by setting it back into the wall. It's very tight here anyway. We've also got a wash basin here with a little molded soap dish. Unfortunately, it's full of rubble at the moment. And we've got a tap which comes off the mains water supply of the manor above. We're now at the end of the hideout here. This originally would have had a corrugated roof to it. That's rotted away over the years and it's been replaced with this reinforced concrete. And we've got the emergency exit tunnel here, two foot wide, very narrow, but would have been used in the event of an emergency having to get out of the hideout quickly. This culminated, it was 43 foot long, and it culminated at the other end. It was disguised as a drain, so if anyone picked up the drain cover, they would just think it's a natural drain with sewage or something coming off the manor. <laughs> 